Smoking related illnesses account for half a million American deaths every year. If quitting is one of your New Year's resolutions, KXAN's David Scott reports you could be a candidate for two related studies going on at UT. Lighting up with coffee, a drink, after a meal, dealing with stress, the most common temptations. Two years remain on a UT study on how stress triggers that nasty habit. We are mostly looking for people who tend to think of themselves as using smoking as a way to cope with stress. And so they have maybe thought about quitting before, they have tried many quit attempts in the past, but they tend to go back uh, when something stressful happens. They spend five weeks teaching you stress coping mechanisms before you even attempt to quit. Relapses are common, especially in the first few weeks, but they're seeing some success. Four years remain on the study of smoking and post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD folks are twice as likely to smoke. They're attempting a combination approach. We're looking at the best treatment we have so far for smoking, which is a combination of counseling uh, and coupled with nicotine replacement, primarily wearing a patch. And then coupling that with uh, treatment for their post-traumatic stress disorder, all of which takes about 12 weeks. So far, this study has had four times the success dealing with PTSD than the smoking itself. A testament, perhaps, to the grip of that nicotine addiction. David Scott, KXAN News. We have more on this story and how you can apply for those studies that's with this story on our webpage at kxan.com.